What if your imagination was the truth? What if, for all of your life, you have been a living human with only one incarnation, and then slowly, or quickly, begin to remember one, then three, then more and more of the many incarnations that you had had on Earth? a starship and or other planets. What if you remember the cycles of ascension of your galactic self? When you finish all of your cycles of your ascension, you will be able to understand and remember what is occurring on your fifth dimensional ship, your fifth dimensional reality, and many of other incarnations when you were third fourth dimensional. In these incarnations, you were, and are now, on the edge of, or just beginning to, consciously perceive that you were within your ascension process. As you progress through this process of remembering, you will gain an understanding of what is occurring on your fifth dimensional ship and or your fifth dimensional planetary based reality. When you first begin to have these memories you are entering your ascension cycle 1. Ascension cycle 1 is the first realm of your fifth dimensional frequency of awakening consciousness. In other words, you are beginning to have flashes, memories, dreams, and imaginations of a now in which you are resonating to a higher frequency of reality. Is this just a dream or my imagination? You may ask. However, the mere fact that your dreams and imaginations can remain in your third dimensional consciousness means that you are beginning to include the higher frequencies of reality into you perceptual field. You may be unconscious to this process of multidimensional perception and may say, this is just my imaginations. It is not real. However, more and more of you are beginning to experience more than one reality in your consciousness, within the same now as your current incarnation on Earth. It is in this manner that you will gradually, or quickly, remember that your base state of consciousness is no longer limited to the third dimension. In fact, your base state of consciousness now includes your fourth, and sometimes, your fifth, dimensional consciousness. It is for this reason that so many of you regular, Normal people are having very unusual dreams in which you are in another world or on a starship. You may also have a sudden interest in science fiction, and may even come to realize that you resonate more with science fiction than with daily life. To make you even more confused, you may also be experiencing quick flashes, words, noises, and or emotions of remembering something that you forgot, or never knew before. However, it is not that you forgot and are now remembering. Instead. It is that you have slipped into a higher frequency of reality that is just like the third dimensional frequency, but simultaneously, different. You may even have the experience of feeling that you've done something before and are weirdly doing it again. The reason for this remembered experience, is that your consciousness is increasingly resonating to ever-expanding frequencies of reality. These frequencies will expand into higher dimensions to incorporate the higher dimension, but then, they must be grounded into Gaia in order to be usable to Earth and all her inhabitants. Therefore, the older operating systems of reality are continually separating and reconverging with higher and higher frequencies of reality. Whether you know this or not, you are shifting your consciousness to resonate to these ever-expanding frequencies of reality in order to have the experience better alignment with Source. The process of aligning with Source can, sometimes, make it more difficult to align with and function on only one timeline, as you have an innate need to experience multiple timelines. However, when you are experiencing multiple timelines, you may feel as though you are having an experience that you have had before. What is actually occurring is that multiple timelines are going into and out of phase with your third dimensional reality. When a timeline goes into the fourth dimension, that reality is often experienced as a long dream, or a flash of creativity. Then, as your consciousness returns to the third dimension, you may, may not be able to remember what just occurred. The reason for this is that higher dimensional timelines often remain in a state of flux. Therefore, these higher dimensional possible realities may waver into and out of your consciousness, as they shift between different polarities and amplitudes in order to allow the ascending ones to create and experience free will creations. Free will creations are one of the primary reasons why one chooses to have a third dimensional incarnation. With a free will creation, there are myriad possibilities that arise from your past, present, and or future. These possible realities increasingly merge with your third and fourth dimensional polarities to better understand them. However, once they are fully understand, they are transmuted back into the timeless now. It is through that timeless now that one can move into the ascension process of resonating to the higher dimensional frequency of reality. As your consciousness expands beyond the third dimensional polarized reality, 
and through the fourth dimensional creativity and dream reality, you will begin to move into the fifth dimensional ongoing reality of the eternal now. This now is unique to the time bound structures of the third dimension, as well as to your fourth dimensional perceptions, emotions and thoughts. Fortunately, your fourth dimensional dream life and meditations, give you the opportunity to practice different types of reality. In fact, you are practicing every type of higher dimensional reality in your nightly visits to the higher dimensional worlds. Often, you are not aware of these higher dimensional realities while you are resonating to your third dimensional consciousness because that state of consciousness does not allow your consciousness to expand into the fourth and fifth dimensions. However, when you are engaged in meditation, service to others, and deeply creative endeavors, your consciousness activates both your fourth and your fifth dimensional brain waves. When you activate your fourth and fifth dimensional brain waves, your daily life consciousness and activities slowly, or quickly, aligns with creativity and interdimensional communications. Then, you will be increasingly able to be more creative in what you do, and are much more able to consciously communicate with higher dimensional beings, such as we the Arcturians, the Pleiadians, the Venusians and other higher dimensional guides. We, the members of your galactic family often, and happily, serve as higher dimensional guides to humanity. Yes, we are your galactic family. Many, if not most of you, have forgotten us in the midst of your daily life. In fact, too often, you may even forget your higher dimensional experiences, which you may call dreams. Therefore, we wish to ask you again, what if for all of your life you were just a living, human with many unknown incarnations? Then, slowly, or quickly, you began to remember one then three then more and more of the many incarnations that you have had on Earth? As you accept that you have chosen to take these many, or few, Earth-bound incarnation, you may be able to allow yourself to remember your visits to your ship. You may feel that that is no one with whom you can share this information, but as you gain confidence in yourself and in your higher guidance, you will be able to answer this calling. When you admit to yourself, as well as to others, that you are speaking to higher dimensional beings, your consciousness begins to expand beyond your third fourth dimensional earth consciousness and into your fifth dimensional galactic consciousness. We will now address some of the cycles of planetary ascension. Cycle only planetary ascension, which is much like an adult nursery school, is the threshold into the fifth dimensional frequency of reality. This is where those with a young multidimensional consciousness first go to learn and lean how to teach others what they have learned. In this manner, these ascending ones can experience the support of their higher dimensional home on the ship, while they also interact with the third dimensional humans on Earth. Their interdimensional ship, which is within their consciousness, keeps an open line between their fifth dimensional and beyond self on the ship and their third fourth dimensional self on Earth. Hence, some of the volunteers to Gaia choose to enter third dimensional Earth and then return home to the fifth dimension as soon as they have learned remembered what they wanted to gain from that incarnation. In this manner, they can better assist with planetary ascension when they return to the higher realms. In fact, many of you are teachers in the higher dimensional ships and realities. What you teach on the ship is what you have learned about being a human on third dimensional Gaia. We galactics are very invested in assisting Gaia with our planetary ascension and, since humans are the primary cause of most of the obstructions to this planetary ascension, it is for this reason that we often contact humans, not just so they can assist us, but so that they can assist us to better understand humanity. On the other hand, nature beings, as we all of Gaia elemental beings that inhabit her planet, can easily, and often do, communicate with us. Of course, the nature beings do not speak a third dimensional language. Instead, they telepathically send their message out to those who love them enough to hear them. Yes, the key to communicating with a nature being is love. One cannot give love away if they do not have it within their own heart and mind. Therefore, the nature beings can feel the love and know that they are safe to communicate with us, as well as more and more humans. When we say us, we mean any being, galactic or earthbound one that has a deep love and commitment to planet Gaia by taking an earth vessel. We galactics can more deeply understand how humanity is advancing with their mission of assisting with planetary ascension. Yes, as you may know, many of the humans that you meet in your daily life are actually galactics who volunteered to take an earth vessel to better understand and assist with the process of planetary ascension. 
Then, we fifth dimensionals are able to return to the fifth dimension to share what we have learned during our excursion to being a human on Earth. Also we are primarily visiting the timeline that most of you readers are on. We are visiting that timeline because it is a crucial time in which Gaia could begin her ascension process, or full into destruction. This destruction is NOT from a galactic source. The sources of this destruction would be from the protectors of Gaia, which is humanity. Humanity has experienced difficulties from the Dark Ones, who have been trying to take over Earth from the very beginning of Gaia Earth civilization. Therefore, more of us, your higher dimensional selves, are choosing to take Earth vessels in order to assist our volunteers to Earth. Fortunately, we are beginning to perceive that more and more humans who are ready to join us galactics, as we work as one being, to assist humanity to discover how they, in their own way, can best assist with planetary ascension in a manner that humans can best understand. When one first begins to communicate with their fifth dimensional self, while wearing your third dimensional form, you are entering cycle 2. We will return to share cycle 2 with you.